Hey YouTube, Michigan Edge here. Uh, today I have another knife review for you. Today the review is on the Kershaw Blackout Model 1550. Uh, just to get the specs out of the way real quick. The uh, blade length on this is three and one quarters. It's got a closed length of four and a half inches. The steel is a Sandvik 1-3 C26 stainless steel. It has a black tungsten DLC coating. The handle is ejection molded polymide. That's off the website. Uh, we have stainless steel liners that run all the way through the knife handle. So it's a nice stout solid design. The design is by Ken Onion. It is a speed safe or spring assisted design and it opens uh, with authority so yeah it's a it's a good design there uh, some things I like on this knife here I've been carrying it now off and on for about six months uh, finally I see a clip that is a good design Kershaw's known for some funny clip designs this knife right here has a real nice clip on here in my opinion the clip is a uh, long clip and the knife sits kind of deep in the pocket. Uh, it has a good tension on the clip when it's in your pocket. It's not too tight and not too loose to where uh, you know some of the clips are so tight where it actually pulls your whole pants up when you're when you're trying to remove the knife. So yeah the clip's a good clip, uh, excellent design. The only uh, problem with the clip though it's uh, only for tip down carry and there's no option to reverse the clip or to reverse the side on the clip. Uh, another thing I like about the knife is on the inside they use some uh, bronze or brass bushings in here which I, I think will last the lifetime of the knife for the pivot. Uh, the pivot's adjustable. Uh, the handle isn't really tacky or or grippy, but it just fits in the hand real nice. So it's just a real nice design. It's a good piercer or slicer. Uh, it slices paper really good, just to give you, just to show you. Yeah, this this knife will slice all day. Uh, the steel is one of my favorite steels. It's a mediocre steel, uh, a Sweden steel, the 13C26 Sandvik steel uh, takes an edge good, holds the edge pretty good, requires some touch-ups, but uh, yeah, all in all, it's a good steel, excellent knife. The knife sells for prices I've seen around $40 to $80. I paid $35 for this knife. I bought it at a uh, local flea market at my gu a gun show. Uh, so I always recommend that if you have the option or time to go to a flea market. You always have the option to uh, barter with your pricing, which is always uh, cool. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. The Kershaw Blackout Model 1550. Excellent knife. Excellent design. Feels good in the hand. Pick you one up.